Hey guys, it's Brett. I'm here with a candle empties video. Yes, I haven't had a candle video for, gosh, months now. As you know, Brad and I are Scentsy Consultants now and actually haven't been burning candles quite as much because we're melting Scentsy's all the time between the ones that we get to review. Bless you. Bless you. Prize outside on the patio. Anyway, we're melting Scentsy all the time, so we just I've cut down on burning candles as much as I was. I'm no longer a homeworks influencer or I'm not monitor in the Facebook group either, so I don't get PR candles either. So I just wanted to focus on Scentsy, so I stopped doing that because it was just getting to be a little bit too much trying to do all that at the same time. But I do love homeworks and I still, I purchase here and there. I, just, I honestly haven't push, purchased much since we've been doing Scentsy. I've actually considered maybe not even burning candles anymore. Only because we're moving into a new house. And I thought maybe I just won't burn candles. Then I would worry about soot all over the walls or ceilings. Because in our old house, when we sold it, we had quite a bit of soot in the bathroom of the fireplace mantle. But I will say years ago when I did first started burning candles a lot, I wasn't pretty... I was pretty reckless with my candles pretty much. I didn't keep on, tra tr on top of trimming them. I just kind of would burn them and let them go forever and then the soap would just go crazy. And then later in the last past years before we moved to the house, I started trimming them like all the time. And I, if it would get sooty, I would just like not melt it anymore or burn it anymore. And I would put it on in a candle crock or whatever. But before I wasn't so diligent about that. So I think that's why a lot of that soot got on there. So here, the apartments, I'm much more cautious about trimming the wicks and everything, so I don't notice a lot of soot here on the ceilings. Sometimes you can't really see it until it, like, you go to wipe it or something. But hopefully when we move out, they're not going to say, you got to pay so much because of all the soot on the ceilings. I don't think, by the looks of it, I don't see any. You know, our other house, you could totally see it. In the bathroom, it was like all up on the ceiling. In the bathroom, we're all behind the shower for some reason, it was like black up there. So anyway, we're moving to a new house, so I thought maybe I just won't even burn candles. That's just a big thing to say. That's a big thing to say. I have cut down considerably because we are doing Scentsy, and I just haven't been buying as many candles. I still have candles. I still have probably about 50 to 60 candles, roughly. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. That's a big commitment to say I'm never going to burn candles anymore, but... And there's been some new candles that came out, like with Homeworks and stuff, and Bath and Body Works. There's that I've kind of considered trying out that it sounded really good, but I haven't yet, so I don't know what I'm going to do. But I have been burning here and there, so I'm going to go over the empties here. What I've, this is probably two months worth or so, two and a half-ish months, maybe three. Um, there's not a whole lot here, but I haven't been burning that much, so we'll just get started here. Actually, first let's start with this here. I just took this off my candle warmer, not my candle crock. I took it off. I have a candle warmer that I have my um, Ashland 25 watt warmer. Use, I'll either put the candles on that to melt them or I'll put them in a candle crock. It just kind of depends on what I'm feeling. It's a little bit smaller. It takes up a little less space, so I just put it on the candle warmer. This one is Lavender Vetiver from Bath & Body Works. This was a really good scent, really good. Uh, let me see the scent notes on the bottom here. I don't want to tip it too much because it's still wet. Hold on. Oh, goodness sakes. I'm gonna need these readers. This print's so small. Oh, it is wild lavender, warm vetiver, and creamy sandalwood. So it's just a good lavender vetiver. You get the lavender vetiver and vetiver and you get the sandalwood. I don't know about creamy. Is this creamy? I didn't really get creamy, but I definitely got the lavender, sandalwood, and vetiver. All three of those things. And I love lavender and I love sandalwood and I love vetiver. So this is really, really, really nice. I loved it. But after the halfway point or so, it got really sooty. It didn't get, I don't think it got puny wicks though, but it just got, I trimmed them and they had like the thick rope-like wicks. It just started sooting really bad so like i said i'm more diligent now about that so i'm like I, i'm not gonna keep burning that when it's like that so i just took it put it on the candle warmer 
melted it that way. It did pretty good on the candle warmer. I got probably about three days worth out of it. It wasn't super strong on the candle warmer, but I definitely could smell it in the living room. It's, it was like a mm, high medium maybe. It wasn't strong, but a nice medium, strong medium. So I just took that off because it's about the third day now and I, I'm not smelling much anymore. So that was good, but it did get sooty. So I put on the candle warmer. Next up we have Homework's Clover Blossom. I finished this quite a while ago. It says Clover Blossom, Spring Gold Peach, Peony Metal, Peony Petals, and White Violet. So it is, it was just your floral with the peach. I really got, um, got the clover quite a bit, that clover blossom. Um, not a lot of peony, but, and violet, more the clover, but I did get that peach mixed with. You get that fruity peach. It was nice, not my favorite, but it was okay. And it was about a medium throw. And I think this one did burn okay. So that was not too bad. Not my favorite one, but it was it was all right. Next up we have Orchid, Orchid, Orchid and Sweetgrass, if I can talk, from Homeworks. And this is Stream Orchid, Sweet grass, lotus flower, and musk water. So this smells good. It's floral and it's got like a green note in there. Pretty much. I mean, you get the orchid, you get the lotus water, musk water. It's kind of musky, but not super musky. It did have a green sweet grass to it, but I wish it was more. It was a, not quite as grassy as I would like, but there was a little hint of grass in there. It was nice, but it was really light. Like I didn't get much at all from this burning it really really light and I know a lot of people did have a lot of problems with the homeworks in the spring and summer being light. I had that same problem too they were all pretty light um, that's another reason I kind of decided to take a little break because I just wasn't having much luck with them between being light and then the burn was not the greatest on a lot of them I was just getting a little frustrated with it so um, I was just took a little break from homeworks I guess but I loved Homeworks. I've been a Homeworks fan for years, ever since they started, you know, and I've done reviews of them, and I was always 100% honest with my reviews of Homeworks, even though I got them sent to me to review for free. I was still be honest about them. I praise them a lot because I did love them, but they've had their hits and misses and ups and downs over the years, and the spring and summer was quite a bit of downs as, a far, as opposed to ups, but I've heard the fall and the winter ones are doing a little bit better, I think, but I haven't tried any of them. Next up is South Seas Gardenia here from Homeworks. And this is Gardenia Botanical Orchid, Garden Lily, Bergamot, and Spring Moss. So it is just all that. It's very floral, so white floral, white heady gardenia floral. And the rest of the things, I mean, it's got a little bit of lily, bergamot, little moss in there. Mostly gardenia though, but it's really nice. I've had this before. And this, I think this was sent to me from Homeworks, and uh, it was good. I think it burned pretty good for the most part in this one. It burned a little bit further down in the middle, that one side and the other side. And this was good. Not quite as strong as I think the first one I've had before, but it was not too bad. And then we have from Homeworks, congratulations, or congrats, sorry, just congrats. And this is cotton candy, sugar, plum, confetti, raspberry, sparkle, and velvet cream. This was really good. I really like this one. It definitely is a cotton candy, raspberry cotton candy type of scent. I don't know exactly what that all says. Raspberry sparkle cotton candy, sugar plum, and cream. Yeah, I like a raspberry cotton candy type of scent. Really good. Threw really well too. This one this one did really good for me. It was probably at a seven, seven to eight or so, seven, seven and a half. Did good. Burned pretty good on this one, so this one wasn't too bad. I actually had pretty good luck with this one. Next up is Sandalwood from the Simply Collection, I believe it's called, from Homeworks. And this is just a pleasant combination of rare, pure rare sandalwood gathered from Australia, uh, Sri Lanka, and Nepal. So it's supposed to be like different sandals from around the world. This was good. This is really good. Just a really good blend of sandalwood. I guess all different kinds of sandalwood is what they're saying, but it was just a really nice sandalwood candle. Really good. This threw really well. And the burn, I think this burned for the most part. Mine got a little bit sooty, but not too bad. And it burned a little bit further on one side than the other, too. 
But yeah, it was good. I did enjoy this one. That one was nice. And then lastly for homeworks, we have Vanilla from the Simply Collection. So I like this on cold. It was nice. I thought I got all kinds of different um, vanillas. It says a tempting combination of pure vanillas from Madagascar, Tahiti, and, and Indonesia. I thought it smelled kind of worldly. Some people don't think it smelled that great, but I liked it. But burning, it was a little bit lighter. It wasn't super strong. It was pretty light. And then the burn was bad, really bad. Two of the wicks came away from the wick clips. Like they just, the wick came completely out of the wick clip on the bottom and just floated around in the wax pool. And I couldn't put it back in there because it was away from the wick clip. So I didn't. If it falls down, you can kind of try to bend it back up, but it came completely out of the wick clip. So I would totally have to like take the wick clip out, put it back in there somehow and glue it on the bottom. And there wasn't really, I can't do all that. So you can see on that side over here, these are the two wicks that were fine. These two over here, you can see that one, but it was down under there. It was away from the wick clip. That one's lost under there somewhere. So it never, I finished burning it on that side. It never did pull out on this side all the way because those wicks were gone. So I did this, have all this wax left over here. I could take it out, put it in the freezer and pop that out and put in my wax warmers, but the scent wasn't all that great anyway. Burning it, it was really light and it came off I liked it better on cold. When it burned, it just was kind of okay. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't. I don't think it was worth messing with taking the wax out and putting it in warmers or anything, so I'll probably just toss that. And then we have two. Actually, let me go over this one here. This is a candle. Uh, gosh, I can't remember where I got this. Either Brad got this for me or my mom did. I cannot remember. It's Orange Dream. I don't even know where they got this. It says ardent candle orange dream tarco orange something kumquat gojo berry juicy kiwi ripe berries and vanilla scentless it was it smelled good on cold but it, you, zero throw almost zero throw so yeah i ended up putting it in a candle warmer and it it was pretty light in a candle warmer too really couldn't smell anything with that one at all and then two homeworks we have, or I'm sorry, two scent works we have left here. Two scent works candles. We have Coconut Breeze from Scent Works. This is Coconut Blossom Freesia Star Jasmine and Tropical Citrus. This was really good. I was really impressed with this for scent works. Sometimes scent works aren't the best in the world. They don't have the strongest throw. Um, but this one I was really surprised with. I really like the blend. This is a very summery coconut. Um, coconut blossom, you get that little bit of floral from the freesia and the jasmine. Little citrus, but mostly like a florally coconut. Slightly suntan lotion-y kind of. Not completely suntan lotion-y, but like very summery. Yeah, really, really nice. I like that. Um, it was a good strong medium throw too. And it burned really good. You can see it burned all the way down to the wick clips. So I was really impressed with this Sunworks candle. As I was with this one too. Another one from their summer collection. Fun in the Sun from Scentworks. This is Beach Flower, Ocean Water, Sea Salt, and Orange Blossom. This is so good. Straight up suntan lotion. This is like, this to me was like a copper tone type of suntan lotion. If you like those and then you know, Yankee Candle has sun sand. It's, it's like that pretty much. It's Scentworks suntan lotion version of this Yankee sun and sand basically. Fun in the sun. It's just like sunscreen. It smells like you're at the pool, the ocean, you got suntan lotion on. Really good. Orange Blossom is on a lot of suntan lotions. That's Orange Blossom, Orange Flower, and Neroli. This didn't say Neroli, but it did say Orange Blossom. Really good. I loved it. Did really good. Throw was really good on this one. Really strong. It had a strong throw and it burned pretty good. Don't see the wick clips, but it burned down pretty much to the bottom. So yeah, I was really impressed with those two Scentworks candles. They did really good. All right, then we have just a few other little odds and ends. Just three Homeworks diffusers and one little Homeworks uh, oil. This goes in the uh, wall, little scented wall diffuser and the, the plug-ins diffuser. This was Strawberry Patch. Couldn't smell this at all. 
I haven't had much luck with those wall plug in diff oil plug-in diffusers from Homeworks. They're just really light. Some of them are okay, but most of them I just can't smell. This one I really didn't get anything from on that one at all. Then we have three of the diffusers here from Homeworks. First up, this one is Garden Blooms. Let me put these glasses on here to read the notes here. So little. Freesia, Rosewater, Jasmine, and Georgia Peach. Um, this one was good. Garden Blooms. I, I don't get much peach in that. I get mostly just floral. Floral. A really nice floral. This is really good, actually. Um, I kept getting whiffs up in the bathroom. Had it up in our front bathroom. I smelled it quite a bit. It was like just constantly here and there when I go in there. I would smell that nice floral. So it's like walking to the floral shop, basically. Really, really good. I like that one. That one did really well. Then we have... This one is... Raspberry Coconut Snowball. Fresh Raspberry Toasted Coconut Angel Food Cake and Vanilla. This one I could barely smell. I had this one in or some Marco's room. It just... I barely got anything from it. This was good. I liked it in the candle, but the diffuser... Usually diffusers do pretty well, but this one I just didn't get much from. I just barely got a hint of it, but... Yeah, I couldn't smell that one too well. And then lastly... We have iced buttercream, whipped buttercream, fluffy marshmallow, vanilla bean, and toasted macadamia. This one was so good. This one was good. I love the candle and the rediffuser is really good too. It when I first had it out, it was just so good. I, it smelled the whole bathroom up, going out into the bedroom, such that good the the nuttiness in that the iced buttercream with that macadamia nut in there, such a good nuttiness with that in there, in with that vanilla, so good and. It, it, probably about to the halfway point. I smelled it really good. Then when I got to the halfway point, I stopped smelling it. The only time I would smell it is if I took the sticks out and flipped them over. Then I could get another, for like half a day or so, I would smell it and then I couldn't smell it anymore. It did that for the last half of the diffuser and then it took forever for that last half to get through. I mean, it. I think I had this one sitting out for like almost three months maybe before it finally completely dried up all that oil. That second half took forever to completely absorb. I didn't think it was ever going to finish. This was probably the longest lasting one I've ever had. For some reason that second half just took forever. Like after it probably got to about the halfway point after about a month or so and then the last half took like two to two and a half months to completely finish. And then it wasn't it wasn't I couldn't smell it much at all after the second half. Usually they do pretty good and I smell most of them half most of the way but that second half got it got scentless. Like I said, the only time I smelled it is if I flipped the sticks over and I could smell it for like a while and then it would I couldn't smell anymore. So that was really good the first half. Second half didn't do so good and just sat there and sat there and sat there for forever. But I usually have really good luck with those diffusers for the most part. So that's my empties video. Throw my candles and then diffusers and a little oil plug in here. So like I said. I don't know for sure what I'm going to do about candles. We're moving. I don't know if I'm going to stick to maybe not burning candles. That's a big commitment for somebody who's burning candles for so many years and loves candles. I am getting a lot of pleasure from Scentsy though. So at least I have my Scentsy to keep me happy with fragrance right now. But I know someday I'm going to want to burn. I've been burning candles a little bit here at the apartment still. But um, I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm making any commitments that I'm not burning candles, but we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you all updated on what I decide. So that's it for my empty candle empties video for the last three months or so. So thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you all in our next video. Bye.